Hello friends, welcome back to Technique and today we'll be talking about the newly launched Redmi 5 TV, the 4K resolution TV. Now, a few months back, in fact, almost 3-4 months back, uh, Redmi had launched their first uh, Fire TV in India. Now, the Amazon's Fire TV has the Fire OS and uh, it's kind of very different UI compared to the Android interface and it's very sleek as well. And uh, we had reviewed that TV. That time it was just the HD version and it was very entry-level uh, TV. Price just 11,000 rupees and it was one of the really good budget TVs out there. That was a 32 inch HD resolution. Now Redmi has come up with uh, the 4K resolution and a larger size. Now it's a 4K resolution TV, the Fire uh, TV, Fire OS TV. And uh, this time around we have the 43 inch version, 43 inch 4K version with a pretty good experience. So let's see how the TV stacks up and uh, let's see how the experience is. The pricing is also very competitive. We'll talk about that uh, later. But let's first have a look at the box content. Then we'll talk about the setup process, then uh, the display uh, the software experience the fire tv is something which is very good uh, and uh, easy to use interface so let's see how that uh, works on this tv as well so before getting into the video if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so let's see what all comes inside the box so you can see the desk stand uh, the screws for mounting the stand then you get a remote uh, which has a lot of functionality two batteries and also the manual and the installation guide so these are the things available in the box package so this is the remote and you can see here a very minimalistic remote quite similar to other xiaomi devices you can see here the alexa button is there then you have a dedicated control for prime video netflix and apps uh, and other options are there then you get the home button uh, up and down volume keys and mute button is also included and uh, you get play and uh, pause and uh, go to the next track and previous track option so this is a very functional remote uh, you get uh, apps uh, support uh, and uh, a very uh, compact remote in terms of size so this is the remote of the redmi 5 tv now another good thing about this remote is that you can uh, even control your uh, set of box using this remote this is an ir plus uh, bluetooth remote and uh, you can uh, control your uh, set of box devices uh, using this remote that's additional functionality included setting up the tv is a slightly different experience compared to the android uh, uh, tv here you need to enter the amazon Amazon account if you already have an Amazon account you can just enter that and scan the QR code and uh, the account will be transferred to the Fire TV and then that uh, you can actually restore if you are already using uh, Fire TV and install some of the predefined apps and uh, if you want to additionally install apps you can go from the App Store and install it so that's the setup process of the Fire TV now uh, you can see that uh, the design language is something which is really good even though it's a budget TV you can see here the bezels have been kept minimal the bottom bezel has the Redmi branding and towards the uh, corner you have the fire tv branding as well and you can also see that the uh, the side bezels have been kept minimal that's something which is pretty good and the back panel of the tv is made of metal so that makes it even more sturdier even in the budget segment you get a pretty good uh, sturdy tv uh, so build quality is definitely good uh, on the uh, redmi fire tv so overall we feel uh, in terms of uh, the size and materials used the desk mount included in the, uh, in the box is made of plastic but overall we feel uh, for a budget tv of this price category the build quality is definitely good on the redmi fire tv so let's talk about the ui of the redmi fire tv so this is the main interface this is the amazon's uh, fire tv interface it's very neatly arranged interface uh, you have everything uh, in the main screen itself and uh, pretty neatly arranged so we will just uh, show you uh, here how to navigate so uh, on the top you can see that uh, the highlighted shows uh, you can have a look at the highlighted shows and the first uh, thing is uh, the profile so I've added my profile here so you can add your profile as well then you can see the input controls HDMI two ports are there and in a port the composite port then you can search for any movies apps uh, and uh, other other documentaries available then the home screen where you see all the recently watched items then uh, the trending items uh, latest movies uh, free movies uh, Amazon original series everything is included here uh, in the main interface and you can see they are very uh, sleek and uh, you can see a very responsive interface uh, very smooth uh, in terms of navigation no lags whatsoever then uh, you have the live tv options so you can see here the apps installed for live tv then uh, uh, my stuff is basically the watch list and other uh, options included then you have the apps installed the prime uh, video netflix youtube app store is there then amazon music sony live and 
now you can see the all the apps installed if you just click here you can see all the apps which are installed on your tv so you can see here these are the apps i have currently installed so you can go to the app store and uh, install an additional apps so if you want to uh, uninstall also you can uh, do it from this interface now you have the settings so here you can see that inputs whatever inputs you have the hdmi port uh, the notifications uh, accounts and profiles as i said before you can add multiple profiles you can see here this is my profile so you can add multiple profiles and sync with your amazon account then uh, you have the network settings display and audio and you can see the picture controls are there uh, so you can con uh, configure uh, picture settings uh, for each uh, each of the hdmi port then audio settings then power control and additional options like uh, uh, customizing your uh, tv experience you can do it from here then if you have the application so as i said before all the apps installed apart from that you also get the browser here uh, then uh, equipment control uh, then this is uh, basically any other connected uh, equipments uh, uh, we have uh, on uh, this tv that's the thing then live tv remote and bluetooth devices Alexa you can see here you can navigate uh, uh, using the Alexa app we will show you that as well then uh, help accessibility sleep timer and other preferences are also included parental control is one thing because you can set up your pin and uh, use the parental control so these are the options uh, in the main interface looks very uh, easy to use and the navigation is extremely uh, simple and also very responsive that's one good thing about uh, the TV what I felt uh, the navigation is extremely responsive and it does the job pretty well now you also have the Amazon Amazon app I will just show you how that works as well so you can see that this uh, TV comes with uh, Amazon Alexa installed now this TV comes with Amazon Alexa installed now Amazon Alexa as you know is a voice assistant uh, available now I'll just uh, try some what's the temperature in Kochi today right now in Cochin Kerala it is 13 degrees Celsius and humidity is now let's have a look at the ports and connectivity so in terms of ports and connectivity you get a three hdmi port one of which is arc supported there is two usb ports one ethernet port one earphone uh, that is 3.5 mm audio port then av port is there then antenna port and optical ports are included so it does come with all the basic ports uh, for all the connectivity options next let's talk about the display quality now this is one of the important things uh, last time when we uh, reviewed uh, the HD quality uh, fire TV it was pretty good now you have a 4k resolution this is 3840 by 2160 resolution with a viewing angle of 178 degree and a refresh rate of 60 Hertz the response time is 6.5 millisecond and the picture quality or other picture engine is vivid picture engine which means the pictures uh, the uh, colors are really vivid and vibrant does give a great feel of 
all together especially with the bezel less design it does give a great uh, overall quality the colors are really rich the blacks are pretty deep and the contrast is also pretty done well and the 4k resolution makes it an ideal uh, home companion for watching movies and uh, the overall quality of the display panel definitely looks good the brightness levels are also really good we are not provided with actual uh, brightness uh, levels but uh, the overall brightness levels are definitely good on this panel and you can also play uh, HDR uh, content on this uh, TV and uh, you can uh, uh, view HDR uh, on uh, Netflix and even um, uh, the YouTube app also supports that so that is also supported now uh, it is very nearly bezel less experience that makes it truly uh, uh, good for watching movies now next let's talk about the sound experience now this supports 24 watt of speakers with the Dolby audio support so let's quickly have a look at the sound experience of the CV <laughs> quality definitely looks good especially if you're watching a lot of movies with great sound effects the Dolby audio and the DTS HD uh, sound uh, makes it a pretty good experience with the dual 24 watt uh, speakers another good feature of uh, this uh, TV is that it supports airplay so you can uh, cast from your iPhone say for example I've just go to YouTube and uh, click this button uh, to cast uh, from here so I'll just click here and I can select uh, the TV so this is uh, the uh, TV uh, and you can see that now uh, you can see that now it's uh, casting from here so uh, this is how you can uh, so right now you can see here this uh, is being played from my iPhone and it will show up uh, in the TV so that was our experience with the Redmi 5 TV and as you can see uh, the experience is something which is really good the Fire OS is extremely capable and also the interface is something which we really like very sleek UI extremely responsive absolutely no lag or issues the display quality is definitely good for a budget TV the bezels are kind of minimal and you have a metal chassis and uh, the sound experience is also good you get additional ports available so basically all the ports are covered and uh, overall uh, it's a good package out there especially for the fire uh, oa7 which brings in a very sleek uh, ui lag free experience uh, on uh, the redmi fire tv so price is 24 triple nine the redmi smart fire tv 4k 43 inch uh, makes a great or rather amazing value for money especially for the design it's very sleek uh, a minimal bezel less design the metal chassis the sound quality is good the picture quality is really amazing the 4k experience is something which is pretty good and uh, on top of all these the fire tv interface is uh, very sleek and extremely responsive one of the best uh, ui experience i have had uh, in this price category so redmi smart fire tv 4k 43 inches is highly recommended tv uh, for budget uh, users who want a 4k experience without any sort of compromise so this is available on uh, all the platforms uh, including me.com in case you want to buy it you can just go there and uh, place the order for 24 triple nine so that was my experience hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day